Welcome back. We are talking all about spring 2024 fashion trends today. I'm actually wearing one of them. Let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Steph and on my channel I share fashion and beauty and lifestyle content and I'm so happy you're here. So if that's your vibe, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I would love for you to join us. I feel like I've been kind of all over the place the last several weeks. My kids have been in non-stop basketball tournaments. My daughter is being her typical three-year-old self. And life has just been crazy, but I'm happy and excited to be back filming and getting back on regular programming. Crazy enough, tonight is actually the night that I leave for Bora Bora, finally, oh my gosh. But I'm certainly not posting this until I'm actually on the plane, on the PJ, and headed to my destination, because last time I announced that I was going somewhere, it completely fell through and we were postponed for like three weeks. So if this little tidbit makes it into the video, then just know that your girl is on her way. So every time a new season comes around, I like to look at what the fashion editors and writers are saying in terms of trends. It helps me to kind of have an idea of what to expect. And I also like to share it with you guys as well, because I think it's really helpful, especially if you're not someone who is really like immersed in the fashion world or someone who really wants to like flip through a ton of magazines or fashion shows or Instagram content or Pinterest. I think like being able to share this all with you right here in this format is super helpful. You guys seem to love it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. And yeah, let's get into it. Grab a glass of whatever you're into, and it is time to chat all about spring fashion trends. Our winter was not very harsh here in Texas. I have zero complaints, honestly but I am ready for spring. I'm ready for it to not get dark so early. I'm ready for less layers and all of those good things that come with warmer weather. I'm putting my phone on do not disturb. Y'all, my son is trying to go to this track meet. He's trying to be a little track star, but he can't provide me with a track schedule. Like, sir, you are not about to just be out here in these streets and I don't even know where you are. No schedule, no nothing. Story of my life, literally. I've been flipping, I've been reading, I've been scrolling, I've been gathering all of the data and I feel like this might be a part one because I'm seeing a lot of different takes on spring fashion. Nothing is really groundbreaking, but there are a few different takes and viewpoints that I want to be sure to highlight and cover so that you have all of the necessary information as you move forward into spring. One trend that I am seeing consistently across the board is white dresses. And of course, when I hear that, I'm just like, okay, girl, like that's not really new information. I do love and get excited to see like what new styles and silhouettes will be coming out this season. So I linked a few at varying price points that caught my eye. Vogue is reporting it as a fresh take on the white dress in a more modern form. These dresses, as always, are easy, breezy. Some are tailored, some are very flowy. Some are strapless, some have a collar. There's really a ton of different types of white dresses, but what they all have in common is that they are white, number one, and that they all seem to have this ease about them. These are kind of like the one and done dresses that we talked about last season. There's not much being added to them. A great sandal, maybe add a belt, but I'm not seeing a ton of detail added to the white dress. It really speaks for itself. And so I think that finding really great pieces with great detail, if you're into that, or really simple pieces that you can accessorize in your own way. The next trend is another one that kind of made me go, okay, where are we going with this? And it's trench coats. I do love this time of year because being able to carry your trench coat from the fall and into the spring is a great way to maximize pieces in your wardrobe. Something I did notice though for the trench coats that we're gonna be seeing this spring, they do have a little bit more detail to them. I'm seeing a lot of detail on the sleeve, 
I'm seeing more balloon sleeve detail, more interesting collars. Vogue reported it as epic trenches, if that gives you any sort of visual. So while I would never tell you to go out and buy another trench coat, especially if you already have one, what I do wanna highlight is if you are in the market for a trench coat, you may see some that have that extra detail to them. And if that's your style and you want something that's unique and not like every other trench coat that's out there, then this might be a perfect time to buy. A trend that I saw across multiple channels and that I'm actually wearing right now is icy blue. I think I saw Glamour Magazine reported as like sky blue, but we're gonna lump them all together because it's the same idea, same vibe. This is a completely shameless plug, but if you remember my Buddy Love collaboration, I launched a icy blue blazer that has like a feather trim on it. That's a part of my spring collection and we totally called it. I, I love this color. I'm not someone who wears a ton of blue, but I think it's a nice shade that actually looks really beautiful on all skin tones. Whether you're into dresses, lightweight sweaters, skirts, shorts, blazers, don't be surprised if you see a lot of light blue tones throughout the spring season. This next trend felt very familiar. I don't know if you remember, but super short shorts, no shorts, no problem from a few seasons back. I can't remember if that was fall or winter, but no shorts, no problem is carrying over into spring. I'm seeing them styled with oversized blouses, tucked in with a belt. I also love it with a trench coat or a blazer on top. And to my surprise, these shorts, even though they're short, are actually very tailored looking. And I'll be honest, I kind of like this look and length a little bit more than the micro shorts that we were seeing in the winter styled with tights and all of that. So if you're not into short shorts, understandable, but consider giving this one a second look. I think it's worth it. I was actually pleasantly surprised when I first read the title like short shorts, I roll, here we go again. But as I continued reading and seeing like what was being proposed, I could actually see myself wearing this more than I could see myself wearing like the really like almost like underwear type shorts. This I can get into. We love a rosette detail, of course. And of course, flowers for spring is something that we continue to see year after year. But I'm loving the style. I'm loving the range. I've seen a very simple floral detail like on a vest, just a very simple applique of a rose on a vest. I've seen beautiful rosette detail on puffy sleeve dresses for spring, think brunch, lunch, or maybe even a spring wedding. And then there's like the maximalist detail where you have these like grandiose roses all over a top. There's range here and I think that's really important, especially when you have something that carries over so many seasons, over so many years. Being able to shop it in a way that fits your style is important. So there's this like nice melting pot of florals that you're able to really pull from and make your own. And I love that because I think sometimes when there's like a trend and it's very specific, it's hard to get into. But if you are someone who loves grand flowers, and a lot of detail, there's something for you. If you like a little bit more of a simple detail, you're minimalist, but you don't mind a little detail here and there, there's something for you too. So I really like what I'm seeing in terms of the rosette floral detail this season. A little something for everybody. We're gonna close out with a trend that I feel could be lumped together with a couple other ones. A more refined 90s style that's not so like in your face and grunge. It's still very 90s, but she's tailored. It's a little preppy. It's very minimalist, but there's still color involved, which I love. But it feels very 90s, like 90s office chic. And while I couldn't really get into the 90s grunge era, this is something that I feel is very wearable and not so specific that you really have to go out and necessarily buy anything new to fit it. Who, what, where is calling it distilled 90s. To me, it looks like a very elevated, plain outfit. These are pieces you can wear to work, church, to a business meeting. Honestly, it's giving me 90s supermodel vibes, like off-duty supermodel. 
there is still so much to cover, but I want to gather it all and maybe start styling some looks for you guys too. But as a little preview, I wanted to share these with you just to kind of get your wheels turning and get you excited for spring. It's already starting to shift in that direction here in Dallas, and I hope it is for you too, wherever you may be. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Fingers crossed I am in the air and on my way to Bora Bora. I'll keep you posted. If you haven't already seen the unboxings of the PR box that Tarte sent everybody, one of the things in the pre-trip box for this trip was a Canon G7X camera. And that kind of like really took my breath away. That was a huge shock and surprise, especially considering my kids broke my last one and I never replaced it. So now I have a new one and I'm so excited to use it and do some vloggy vlogs. But anyway, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys again very soon. I can't wait to share a new video with you. I can't wait to keep breaking down spring trends and maybe doing a few more Pinterest recreation outfits as well as some work outfit inspo because I know many of us are back in work mode. Shopping links for everything that I shared in this video today are also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!